Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to a mashup between Wild Card Wednesday and Thankfully Thinking of You Thursday. Um, it's been a wild week, as a lot of you have seen, and um, so I trying to play a lot of catch up and um, so we've missed most of this week together but um, I have decided to actually keep this uh, as the feature of the week for this week the rest of this week and next week so we get to play with it a little bit longer which maybe is a good thing hello everybody thanks for popping on thanks for being patient with me um, today we are going to kind of focus on anybody's name that starts with an H and you know I don't know if I have too many people in my life that start with H but we will hoping you are I stressed less stressed maybe um, yeah <laughs> I'm trying my best to use my coping strategies and now I see oh Okay, my, uh, my Wi-Fi is dropping by the looks of it, so I'm just going to switch this button here. Okay, so yes, thanks everyone. <sighs> just sometimes need to take a deep, deep breath. <laughs> uh, anyways, thing after thing. So, but good news, uh, my dad is out of the hospital, which is thankfully good. Um, he had an ultrasound and he had he doesn't have a kidney any stones in his kidneys or his bladder which they thought um, so that's a good thing um, which means it's probably just because he was not paying attention to his high blood pressure and his blood sugar so hopefully he can get can get that a little bit under control so we don't have any more episodes <laughs> Because that's those are stressful he can't you know think he can't reason he's just not himself and that's hard to watch and then poor little Phoebe passed away yesterday my brother's dog which was uh, a dog that uh, was very special to me uh, kept me going for sure uh, when I was at my lowest uh, gave me a purpose to get up every day she was my purpose to go you know I had to walk Phoebe and so I had to get out of bed. That was, you know, I, as soon as I was done that, we both laid on the couch in the sunshine. And she would just sit right here on my chest and we would have a little nap in the afternoon because of course if, a lot of you, if you've had depression, it just kind of, it wipes you out, right? Your brain is, couldn't watch TV. All I could do was kind of wa read books. It, it was uh, like your brain has flipped a switch and you can't, can't function. But walking Phoebe I could do and uh, nobody was there to judge me I didn't have to worry about you know like you know I was a teacher and so when this happens you there's a lot of criticism that comes with that right and um, anyways it was the little Phoebe kept me going so that was that was a hard moment for me too and then I was talking to my, my niece yesterday, which it was her birthday, and then poor Phoebe passed away on that day. That was a little tough. But anyways, we will get th all get through this week. Um, conditionally sold the Manitoba house. Um, the most frustrating process I think I've ever gone through. Uh, just lots of, uh, I don't know, covering up or lies or I don't know but uh, we find out Friday or possibly Monday um, for sure I guess if it's sold and so possession will be July 1st and that part of my life will <clears throat> part of me go on and I'm just I'm very grateful um, that my parents won't feel like they have to go over to my house anymore didn't matter how many times I told them okay you know you've got your own house to deal with you are older please do not come over and worry about my house but they would go anyway so this was the only solution that I could kind of find that 
um, now they can't go over it. And if they do, they may get arrested. So <laughs> just, hopefully this works. Um, so just, uh, it's been, it's been wild these last few days. And so I'm thankful that you, uh, are all were very understanding and let me just have some breathing moments. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and they aren't major crises. I've gotten through <clears throat> worse in my life. This too shall pass. <clears throat> so, moving on. We're going to think of people that start with the letter H. And I need to kind of try and think of one. <laughs> I don't know if I have one. I might may have to look for somebody whose last name starts with an H. Um, and, and somebody, uh, I think it was Roz, mentioned hairdresser. So, yes, there were <clears throat> a bunch of um, jobs that I put up on Tuesday that, that start with the letter H. So, if, if nothing else, I will be sending out a card to one of those kind of job people, I suppose. Um, so... H names. We're also mashing up with uh, Wild Card Wednesday. So I did pull that name on Tuesday, which was Kathy. And she had picked Daffodil Delight, Blueberry Bushel, and Call Me Clover. What a beautiful color combo that, uh, you know, I've sort of been getting ready here. And so it's going to be really nice. I'm excited to use this. And I, you know what I'm so excited for? <laughs> There was no pineapple punch. <laughs> I saw some of the pineapple punches and I got to like, oh no, please don't pick, the, please don't get that one. Oh my goodness. But um, all is well, no pineapple punch. <laughs> so yes, there's a good thing in my life that happened. There you go. Okay, so first off, I wanted to show you some happy mail that I received Lois from Saskatchewan. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those beautiful poppies. And she's got this like shimmery paper behind it. So pretty. I don't know if it can catch the shimmer or not, but how pretty is that? And I love how she layered up all that paper and she even like curled these um, poppies to make them pop. How nice is that? I love it. Thank you so much, Lois. And Lois <laughs> got me in seeing what I um, didn't know I missed, if you will. She sent me some of those magnet sheets. I never used them before, but oh, see now. she's She's got me hooked. You know, because normally my dyes look like, you know, just thrown in wherever willy-nilly. <laughs> they just... You know, and look at this. This keeps me calm. Look at that. I love it. So, and then, you know, I even cut down the the excess and just used it on other portions. So, I, I'm i pretty sure she said she got them from um, dollar stores. So, I'm going to have... I know I looked in Manitoba, could not find them, but I am going to um, look here in Calgary and see if I can find some because... Wow, that makes a nice difference. So thank you so much, Lois. You are such a sweetie. And then look at this, Michelle. Oh my goodness. I, you know, I saw a lot of you making these cute little face mask things, but isn't that, like, in person, it's so cute. I love it. And here is that um, Sharing Sunshine um, set sorry not even in the screen uh, look how perfectly that fit in the stitched or in the rectangles it's rectangle dies I like it and then look so this you know I'm smiling under this mask I think that's hilarious sending joy and sunshine not germs and look how she did this isn't this cute and you know Lori Pandolfi does this too and I, I never think to do this but you know they put the little saying in there, kind of frame it up just like you would say on the front of a, a card. I never think to do that. I just, you know, generally stamp the the saying and, and don't really pop it up or what. So isn't that cute? I love it. Thank you so much, Michelle. So there we go. There's, there's some heavy mail that definitely helped me through this week. 
you love using magnet sheets to organize your dies. Mm -hmm. I can see why now. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, here we go. Um, the template Tuesday. This was my card that I created using the To A Wild Rose bundle, which we're going to play with for the rest of this week and next week. Isn't that pretty? And I know that there were a few people that also played along with that. So I have got their um, pictures loaded up here in my laptop. So I've uh, at, we had Alice, we had um, Donna A, we had Karen, Kathy, Lois. Let me get rid of that. There we go. And Sue at the bottom there. So I've tucked all those little cards in there. Aren't they cute? I love all the different versions. How neat. Some of the big box stores carry the magnetic sheets. Oh, okay, we don't have Menards, but we do have Walmart. See, there's the thing. Although, I mean, she's in Saskatchewan, so she's in Canada too. So I will have to look for that. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so here we go. There are the images. I'm going to do the random image picker and see who wins the challenge for the template. Random image picker. Whoop! Donnie! Congratulations! You are the winner. And she made two beautiful cards from this uh, template, which, oh, gorgeous. I love them. And what I thought was really smart was see the card on the left, how she stamped. She had a bigger piece of paper. She stamped the images on it. And then she cut it apart as to be the kind of strips. Brilliant. Oh, Roz orders them from Amazon. I suppose that would probably be the easiest, wouldn't it? <laughs> no effort required. Hmm. So congratulations, Donna. I am going to be sending you out a little card in the mail since I can't send you anything because you aren't in Canada. Any hoodle. That's awesome. Okay, let's get, uh, let's see, my screen rolling here. There we are. Okay, so today's focus, we're playing with, of course, that To A Wild Rose bundle. Oh, by the way, maybe I should, well, I'll show you later. But um, with this bundle, um, of course, you get some beautiful sayings and that beautiful layered rose look. It can either be kind of whimsy, it can kind of be realistic. Um, I love that the sayings are big. They come with dies, beautiful dies. Um, I love... I, sorry there's one that cuts this out like isn't that isn't that gorgeous for a background and then of course this label which you'll see lots of today has that beautiful stitching on it so beautiful loving it and I did do an online class on um, this um, probably a year or so ago and um, it went over well um, and so today's focus I'm just gonna show you how you can color up this rose using our kind of color combo. So here we go. And you know what? I'm so glad that I decided to get the stamp set out because I found one of my missing stamps in this case. Oh, you get eight and a half by 11 and cut them down. Oh, that's smart. Okay, so see, maybe I'm looking for something that's maybe not quite right. I knew a paper had fallen down and I didn't know where it went, ended up. Okay, so our first card, I thought, you know what? I have this blueberry bushel foil that comes in the pretty peacock set. And so I thought, oh, let's use this. And then, of course, I wanted to tie in some white. I don't know, I just, I thought white would kind of, kind of, come, kind of put it all together. And so I just did it a little smaller than that blueberry bushel foil paper and use this, oh dear, what's it called? Mm. Stitched lace dye with just plain old whisper white. So I thought, oh, that looks so pretty. 
And so I kind of wanted this to be more of a whitish look with hits of color, if you will. Then I've got this beautiful stitch label that I cut out and I'm there again doing Whisper White. I've got some little flowers that I cut out with the Daffodil Delight. And then of course, Call Me Clover, some little leaves. So that's kind of where we're gonna start with today. Oh, now I know why this was in here. But first I'm going to um, kind of color up a rose, if you will. So I'm just gonna focus on mainly the outline shape of the rose today. So it's kind of the, I don't know, not, not cartoony version. I don't wanna say it like that, but the less realistic version, if you will. So I'm going to use my Daffodil Delight stamp on a piece of Whisper White. This, hey, 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 I don't know if you noticed or heard this, but guess what? Stampin' Up! is keeping the piercing foam piercing mat. Thank goodness. So I'm happy about that, let me tell you. So I'm going to use it. There we have it. So I'm just stamping in um, Daffodil Delight and now I'm gonna get my dauber and I'm just gonna color it in. So I'm just, we can of course rub a little bit off on your grid paper beforehand. Like I always say, you can you start off light, you can always get darker, but if you go on too dark to begin with, you can't really take it off. So I'm just gonna go in here in the center and then work my way out. And then ho I'm hoping that it'll just get lighter and lighter and lighter as we go. Now I'm going outside the lines because when I cut this out with the um, die, of course around the, it leaves a little bit of a frame around the edge. Let's go in there with a little bit darker. So that way it's not going to be this bright white frame, if you will. Okay, and that's it. Wasn't that a great way to color up something? <laughs> that's my kind of coloring. Alright, and lucky for me, I don't have to cut this out with scissors. I'm going to use the die that coordinates with this. And, okay, let me tell you, right now in the catalog, you can get this set the stamp set and dies for when you buy them together you get 10% off that's the bundle price however in the new catalog so like in a little bit over a week they're carrying this set over which means it's going to be in the new catalog however it's going the dies and the stamp set are going to be sold separately not together and that means you don't get your 10% off. So if this set interests you, you have got to get it. <laughs> get it this week. Save yourself 10%. Plus you're gonna get some beautiful, very vanilla scalloped lace from me as a thank you. I just thought, oh yes, you know, the lace is just so pretty. And this set is kind of a pretty set. Last week we kind of had the <laughs> the rough, not masculine, but um, you know, it was a little more mm, out of my wheelhouse, I suppose. And uh, with the barbecues, but we all survived. We all did, good, did well. Nobody purchased it. <laughs> I guess I didn't convince anybody that it was a good one. I don't know. Anyways, that's all right. You know, I think I'm going to go this direction. Let's go this direction and we'll have a little more room to play around, I think. Oh, isn't that cute? <gasps> Love it. Okay, let's go that way. Um, I'm going to, let's get this glue on here. I'm going to use liquid glue for this because sometimes on the foil paper, it's kind of shiny and slippery on the back. And so this, oh, sheesh. The snail doesn't always um, stick to it. Okay, I'm gonna go with my finger here. <sighs> I know. And I always complain about, you know, my fingers being sticky. Well, this is <laughs> probably why. Can you believe you don't have the set? 
No. Oh, it's beautiful. Hey, and you're from Alberta, woman. Come on. Alber Alberta's, you know, provincial flower is the wild rose. Oh, dear. Yes, I'm so excited. I can't wait. All around our condo here, there are so many wild rose bushes. Oh, my goodness. The smell when they are all start popping out is something else. I really want to try to um, to take some of the rose hips afterwards after they're done flowering. And I don't know, I guess you can make tea, right? So that would be kind of fun to do. Now I kind of want to stamp this sentiment, something on here. I suppose I should do that kind of first before I start fiddling with all these little flowers and whatnot because then I'll know where to kind of place them a little better. Now here's the thing. I do not own blueberry bushel or call me clover ink. And so I am having to play, I'm gonna have to, you know, be creative, I suppose, in different kind of color combinations that I use. Now I'm thinking, I think, um, Black is going to be too intense. I'm wondering about gray. Or, mm, I don't know, even crumb cake. Maybe. I don't know if Pacific Point, Pacific Point might work on this one because it's kind of tucked in the background. It's not kind of a focal point. Or I could go in with Knight of Navy as well. You know what? I might, I think I'm going to go with the Knight of Navy. Let's do that. And as you know, Call Me Clover and Blueberry Bushel are, do I have the markers? I do. However, I don't know where they are. I have one Blueberry Bushel, but I, I don't know. I'm going to just go with Knight of Navy. It's easier than the markers. You grew up with wild roses growing in the sand dunes. You make rose hip jam? Oh my goodness. Oh, that sounds fun. Wow. Roses are your favorite. Yeah. Lovely layout with the lacy background. Isn't it just like it, it ties everything together with this rose? Love it. Yeah. Okay. So let's go in with this. Now we have to decide which saying we're going to use. Now, where did I put the whole stamp set here? Um, oh. Seriously. Here it is. Now, I do know that I need lots of like kind of hello cards um, just kind of generic cards, friendship cards, like grateful to know you cards. Um, let's, let's just be reminded of how big blessed is. I think that would work. Let's go blessed to know you. I think that would work. Let's do that. Okay. Let me get out a block. It's probably a little small. So let's stamp one and then the other because if I try both, is it, yeah, Night and Navy is your go to darker color. Rose's jam is yummy. I have never tried that, I've never even heard of that. I am excited to kind of look that up. list I like it now do I go to know you with the yellow or the blue I think I'm gonna stick with the blue because um, there isn't a whole lot of blue on this card other than the background let's just hang in there with that Blessed to know you. Oof. Let's see. There we go.
go. Nice. That's tasty. I know. I'd like to. It would be nice to receive a card like that. That's. I think that's a nice saying. Okay. Let's add this on. I think I'm just going to lay this one down as is and then we'll pop up those that rose I think um, because this is all bumpy and whatnot I'm gonna go in with the liquid glue I hope I didn't smear that night of navy a little that's okay and I'm putting it more over to the right hand side okay so now I'm working in <laughs> there let's try and do that a little better okay um, Let's pop this up. Uh, um, maybe I'm gonna put these dimensionals a little closer to the inside. That way when we kind of tuck things in, oh yeah, dimensional backs on my clothes. That way when we tuck little things underneath, we'll have a little bit of room there to play around. Okay, let's see. How about there? Nice. And that's just pretty right isn't that neat you have tons of wild roses growing in the forest across the street from you oh all along the river bank i've been putting away my stuff that is retiring soon i don't function well until that's all done yeah yep <laughs> okay let's tuck this little little piece i don't know i just wanted a hit of Maybe we can even cut it down a little bit. I thought, let's let's use this little piece. Okay. Um, add a little more. I'm just being lazy and just doing the snail. So let's just a little bit there. We can always use a glue dot and kind of roll it up like a booger. And <laughs> never forget who said that at an odd stage. And I just howled. I think it was Karen Duke. She's a Canadian. She's a Canadian. First million dollar sales Canadian. Okay, let's just pop a little green bit in there. What are you thinking so far? You liking it? Aren't the colors pretty? They're very bold colors, but not. I don't know. They're not. They're not overly. <clears throat> it's no pineapple punch. Let's put, <laughs> let's put it that way. Oh, thank goodness I didn't get that. If I had got that, I think I would, ha you know, have to take the rest of the week off. <laughs> oh dear, I'm being silly. It's not my color not all right now I want to add a little hit of this lace just because you know roses and lace and pearls are just they're just pretty together right so I'm just gonna cut a little piece and make myself a loop and I think I'm just gonna tuck it kind of you know in there or you know I could maybe I'll just go like this let's cut it in half Um, I'm going to get my glue dots, or not, oh here they are, I had to hide them from Indy because look what happens here, I don't know, it doesn't matter how high I put these up, she somehow gets them, I'll just put a little glue dot. Two more. Hmm. No, let's stop. But I think I want to add pearls. You know me, pearls are important, right? I almost wonder about stamping the little insert. Let's see. If we were to, this is an awfully big block, but if we were to kind of stamp off quite a few times. 
wouldn't be as intense. But I think it's it's getting lost, that center bit. Um, maybe second, let's try second. Now, normally I wouldn't be doing this. This is taking a chance. Ah, okay, that's all right. Let's go in with my blender pen and just kind of put in dots. Like so. Just fill it in there. Oh, I've got people fatiguing me. Okay, now the pearls. Or you know what else would be pretty? These gilded gems would be nice too. It kind of will tie, yeah, I like that. Okay, let me see. It'll tie in the kind of gold of the yellow, I think. This is, of course, the kind of the gems that came with that uh, new flower bundle. How pretty. Let's add one there. Let's add a larger one. snoring underneath the table <laughs> oh so cute he must be relaxed he's like right under this big heavy-duty blanket maybe one there there we go what do you think are you glad we added the little bit in the middle yeah, so use your, another reason to have blender pens, right? They're, they're always helpful if you make a little oops. So pretty. And then, so for the insert, what my thoughts were, I, I'm just gonna color this in. Well, I can do it right now. <laughs> Done. <laughs> That'll be my insert. And then for the envelope, I did the same sort of thing. So I'm gonna start in the center here and just kind of whittle my way around. So, you know, you don't have to use um, the Stampin' Blends. Use your ink and daubers to color them in. You can layer in, you know, more than one color, what have you, but uh, daubers are one of my favorite coloring tools. I, I think because they don't have to be exact, they don't have to be super precise. They're quick. There you go, done. And I believe there's a... I think, yeah, I'm just going to stamp hello on the front of the envelope. Done. Nice, hey? I like it. Good, good. Love when they turn out, right? So that was the first card. Another way to color things in is to use the negative space. So we're going to do basically the same thing, but use the space around the flower, I suppose. I'm gonna have a Daffodil Delight card base. I've got a piece of Whisper White here, and I've pre-embossed, I don't know if you can see it, the roses in with the white um, um, embossing powder. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is go in with my Daffodil Delight and my Dauber and fill in those little gaps in between the flowers. Now, if I get on the flowers, eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. But that'll help highlight those, those flowers there. So you may have seen this kind of idea on the video that I showed yesterday. I think I did it in Rococo Rose. So pretty. Okay, I think that is all we need here. I'm tempted to add a little hit of it, hit of the yellow. Oh, 
on the center. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Because those are pretty big flowers that, you know, if they have a little yellow on the inside, that'll just tie everything together. Okay. Now I'm just going to get a Kleenex and just give it all a wipe because sometimes that ink, when it gets on those, um, the embossing, it'll kind of leave a little bit of a residue behind and you want it to be as white as possible. Um, and you also don't want it to get on your hand and then it smears everywhere, right? So there we go. Okay, there's our little Daffodil Delight. I think it'll look cute with the Daffodil Delight cardstock behind. Cute. This is a bright, cheery card, right? And then I cut out this with one of the dies that comes with this set. Isn't it pretty? It just kind of reminded me of leaves. I thought, mm -hmm. yeah, I like this. And then I was going to add one of these blueberry bushel labels. And then I, because I don't have Call Me Clover, I thought, well, I can, you know, stamp with the white embossing powder. So I did that on the Call Me Clover and then cut them out using the dies. Now I wasn't sure if I should do a flower. Um, or if I should just put the uh, sentiment here. I don't know. I mean, we can use the We can do a yellow, maybe maybe that would be fine, just using a yellow flower with the white background. That might look pretty. Let's do that. Now I had a piece, yeah, here it is. Let's use my scrap piece from before and give it a whirl. Oh, thank you. It's green and it's not black. <laughs> I find when I'm getting, when I'm sad and I don't know, when things are getting stressed out, I tend to start wearing a lot of black. Subconsciously, I don't, I don't do it on purpose. I just find that happens. And so um, I found it happening in my wardrobe last, oh goodness, I don't know, anyways. And so I'm like, oh no, I gotta get, you know, go and buy some um, color. So this was, this was one of them. I think I like that hit of blue in the middle. I think that'll tie in that uh, piece there. So let's go with our Knight of Navy. Um, I think I'm gonna do it full strength on here because that blue is pretty bold. Yeah, there we go. What do you think? Thank you. Okay, let's cut this out. Let's, the hardest part about this is trying to <laughs> turn it around and around and around until you find the right. Is this it? No. There it is. Finding where it fits just right. Run this through the big shots. Okay. think of how I'm gonna oh yeah oh I love it <gasps> so pretty okay I'm gonna also put on some of that lace I think I'm gonna run it this way I suppose I could do that zigzaggy thing that people do that might look pretty too okay I'm gonna start gluing <laughs> I feel like I've got bits and pieces everywhere, but I think this is gonna work. So let's just commit to it and 
get it down. Isn't that a nice way to make a background? So pretty. And then this little trellisy piece. So I'm just kind of going here, there, and everywhere with my little my snail tape. And just try to get that sort of centered at the bottom there. And here's my label. I definitely could pop that out. Let's do that. You know, I never really played with these colors, blueberry bushel. Blueberry bushel, I guess I did more so than any of the other colors, but to be honest, I don't even think I touched the, what's the berry color. I don't know. You turn the dye around and around until it agrees. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Straight. Straight's always good. I think that's okay. And now, let's see. Okay. I, well, I'm just going to go with the once, I think, with the lace. Let's just go across. Come, come. be a little too long. Now, should I pop this up? Yeah, let's do it. That'll also give us room to tuck those leaves kind of underneath. Let me figure out which direction we'd like them to go. center a little bit. Okay, now we're going to tuck these. forget how I have them, but yep. blue. No, <laughs> Making my own kind of nails. Yep. Just put a dimensional on that end so that it all kind of sits up at the same level. There, we want to keep it all on the card. And let's go with this one. So we'll put a dimensional on this part of the leaf, and the rest can just have some snail. Like so. Okay, now I wonder about the sentiment. Just a one liner, maybe a hello. You could even, I could even just do friend or friendship. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do what we do friendship. Oh yes, it's much bigger than <laughs> much bigger than what it says here. So just so you're aware. This is a demo's million dollar set, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, I would have to look and see who it is. I I'm gonna double check this time because last time <laughs> I totally flubbed that up and said it was somebody else's set. It wasn't that their set at all. No. So thank goodness somebody somebody um, corrected me on that one. Um, I think I'm going to go in with the blue. 
and I don't care if the ink gets all over everywhere. Um, it should be easy enough to kind of cut out. Okay, let's just fussy cut around this one. Little word friendship. Me some hearts if you have this set. Have you played with it lately, or have you? Uh, has it kind of been on the back shelf for a little bit? When all the new stuff comes out, you tend to, you know, play with all of it and then kind of forget about all these, these goodies that are still in your shelf. So I'm really glad they're carrying this one over. It is just pretty. There, friendship. Nice. I think I'm going to pop that up so I will use my little mini dimensionals for this. I just thought of it and so while I'm thinking of, thinking of it I better say it um, check out Lisa tonight I believe she's going live at 7 um, she always has such great ideas we have we have both have very different styles which is I think is great having kind of a, a business partner whose style is a little you know we're both a little different that way we kind of hit up more people I guess more people's styles there we go so check her out and she's lots of fun she's the funny one between us <laughs> I, I used to have a fun personality and then my depression hit and I tell you I don't know where my personality went I used to have the coolest comebacks ever um, and now no can't think fast enough is that straight I think it is Let's go. You know what? I want one of those gilded gems. Surely I don't know. No. I'm like, surely I didn't put them away. Um, did I leave them out? Um, well. Yep, right there. Do one large one right in there. Pretty. Oh, so nice. I'm I love these colors. Like I said, they're bold, but they're they're not overwhelming bold. They're not like, oh my goodness, I can't take this bold. I like it. Okay, so for the um, insert for this card now, I'm just going to go around the outside, kind of like I did with the background here and let's just go in the center again swipe this off make sure it doesn't get all over everywhere that'll be my insert and then for the envelope I also embossed here so let's go around the outside and the center and that is going to be that and I think I'm just going to do a hello on the little um, flap there but there we go isn't that easy isn't that neat? I like it. Very nice. Okay, card number two. Now on to the last card. Very similar. We're going to color again with the daubers. Um, this time I'm going to have a card base with blueberry bushel. I'm also going to use that. Remember that foil? The blueberry bushel foil from the Pretty Peacock stamp set. Just to add a little something, hey? Then I have a yellow label. Ooh, so pretty. And I am going to add a, a yellow rose, but I'm going to show you a little technique that you can use to kind of make it a, more, a little more three-dimensional. Anyways, I have some, some of these little doodads here that we can kind of tuck underneath or whatever we want to do with them. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so I am going to...
stamp the flower in the Daffodil Delight. I'm going to do a full flower. Okay. And then I need another, I don't know if I can get it all. No. So I'm going to get just another piece of scrap whisper white. Let's use this. And basically all I want is kind of the center of this flower. I want it darker. Let me get my foam because I'm missing some of that middle there. Let's just flip that. Oh, dirt there. Let's go like this. Let's do another one. There, that's better. All right. Take some of this stuff out of here because it's starting to block me. Okay, I am going to go in just in certain areas of the rose. I'm not going to color in the whole thing. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put hits of dark of closer to the inside of the rose like so now try not to <laughs> it looks pretty uh uniform there maybe i'll just try and feather it out a little okay then i'm going to go into this flower and actually cut out the center here so you're going to be kind of fussy cutting along that yellow line. Try to go on the outside of the yellow line so that you can leave as much of the yellow line as you possibly can. And it's a little, a little confusing, but let's just, I don't think it's that big of a deal if you leave some parts and not others. There. And now I'm going to go in and kind of layer this over top of where kind of it was before. Isn't that neat? That look? I think I'm gonna use that night and navy again, just in that center bit. So I'm gonna, oh, I better, full strength. Yeah, let's do it full. I'm actually going to cut this one out before I start gluing everything together so that we don't squish everything in when we run it through the big shot. Uh, my little legs here. Ooh, we're gonna, nope. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, we're going to get it on our first try? We've been trying to harden off our plants um, so that we can uh, put them out into pots very soon around the condo. And um, we bought some, a little, couple little strawberry plants to just plant in our little part on the deck. And uh, Heather saw either a mouse or a chipmunk eating the little strawberry plant. Now the strawberry plant is kind of, you know, a little more minuscule than probably should be. So hopefully it still grows. Who knows? But uh, I sure hope it wasn't a mouse. Let's just put it that way. Okay, let's add this piece in. Um, I, I'm wondering, I don't know if I should pop it up or if we just leave it this way right here. I don't know. 
I think it'll look goofy if it's raised up. Let's just let's just leave it um, right onto that other flower. And I'm just lining it up with the pattern that was already like that on the rose there. Isn't that neat? Isn't that pretty? I like how that turns out. Okay, let's start assembling here and we can kind of figure out where we're, where we're going to go with this. Let's add some. Now, it is, um, hmm. I think I'm going to use tear and tape. Because I don't want to use snail. Because it, it's not going to stick very well since it's kind of got that coating like I said I don't want to use um, the liquid glue because it's going to pour through all those little holes so let's use this I suppose glue dots would work too oh, I guess we had a little my little plastic container of nuts and uh, cranberries on my next to the couch on the table there she obviously got it she's having a grand old time chewing up this little plastic bit she's upside down she's <laughs> oh well she's busy it's not hurting her it's all good so if you hear this you know stuff behind me it's not a mouse it's it's indie <laughs> right you silly girl Oh, you're silly. All right, let's put this down. There. I guess you can see a little bit of that. But I don't think it's going to be that big of a focus. Once we get everything on, I think it'll be, it'll be just fine. Okay, let's add that. Oh, I better wait because I'm, well, I don't think I'm going to stamp on here. if I stamp the blue on here it's gonna look green um, I could do yellow on yellow let's just do a hello let's see what it'll look like yellow on yellow of course let's try it out on the back to make sure that's what we like grab a block See what we think. Yellow on yellow, if it's bright enough. Mm. I think it could be better. What do you think? So let's try the navy. better. How about, what if we white embossed it on blueberry bushel? Let's do that. Whoop. I need to uh, wash these in soap and water because sometimes they lose their sticky, right? And they don't stick to blocks as well as they once did. So just put them in your sink with some um, soapy water, rinse them off really well, and there you go. Okay, here's our little hello and white embossing powder. Man, I sure hope that they decide, just like they did with the foam mat, I hope they decide to bring back that. Uh, embossing buddy I don't know what they're thinking I guess I need to put that in the sandbox and be a speak for everybody out there the demonstrators have a kind of a not a web page but a place that they can put their ideas And 
so I need to do that. I need to uh, voice my opinion. Seems like I've been doing a lot of that lately. My closed captioning is working beautifully. What? I have closed captioning happening? I'm excited because I've wanted to do that for so long. I don't know what I did. Huh. Well, there you go. Awesome. Because I researched, I looked, I, I just could not figure it out. Oh, that's perfect. I suppose I need to speak a little more clearly <laughs> then. I can't mumble. Or I'm sure some words would look pretty funny. There, I think this is gonna stand out really nicely on that yellow. Oh, so nice, so pretty. Okay, so now we can flip this around the way it's supposed to go. Look at that, look at that. That says, hello. <laughs> Right. I guess we could go this direction too. And of course we can add in these little hits of color. I don't know if I need these or not. I wasn't sure. Probably don't. It'd almost be nice if it was white instead, I think. We kind of tie in the white a little bit, but okay, let's just start putting this together. Let's add the liquid glue just so that it goes in all those grooves of that beautiful lace dye. I'm so glad I got that. I, and it took me so long to play with it because I was just scared of all those holes. But if you run it through upside, you don't have closed captioning? Oh. It's in the lower left-hand corner. Okay. I don't know. You can't see it either? I don't know. Hmm. Odd. I wonder if you have a newer version. Well, no, it's Switcher that I'm using. Hmm. I don't know. Closed captioning is an option in the video settings. In switcher or for for people when they're they choose to watch it I'm not sure all right let's put that beautiful rose I'm liking that we're not using pink roses I, I, I tend to get stuck with that right we're kind of branching out and doing some different colors so that's been fun too oh my Lanta that's probably not good to go in there that under there hmm, sticky sticky hmm. there and one more where did I have it I think it was in here somewhere And of course, we can just add a little bit of glue on those ends just to help hold it down a little. Um, let's, I guess, uh, let's try one. See what we think. As long as it doesn't have to be quite as long.
Uh, I cut this part, part off and just make it a bit different than the other one. down in here just to add a pop of yellow in there okay I think that works now our little hello I think we should well, yeah I think we should pop them up well maybe not maybe not and I have not used this lace in here yet let me see Andy, 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 Andy. Let's go. Let's tuck this a little bit under here. Great. Yeah, not bad. Okay, and I'm going to just cut this off so that it's straight across. Good. Yeah, I think that's going to go well. And let's just glue this hello on. And of course, I think it needs one of those gilded gems. Just right up there. This is curling on me because I try. I was bending it back there. Let's go. Oh, that's not it. There. There we go. What do you think? Isn't it neat? I love how that background kind of is underneath there. I could go in with the like kind of the inside here, but I just I kind of want to leave it. But it just gives it a little bit more dimension and doesn't it? Alright, and so for the insert, I was just going to do the same sort of thing. Um, I'm probably going to re-stamp and do the exact same thing that I did here on the insert here. On the envelope, I think I'm going to just, um, just color in a little bit uh, with the dauber. I don't think I'm going to layer it up. I may. I don't know. We'll just, I'll decide later, but um, that's sort of our cards for today. Using daubers to color those guys up. So let me just recap here. So pretty. I like how you can, you know, cut and and piece those um, sayings, right? You don't have to use the whole entire saying. You can kind of switch things up and make them your own. There we go. I wish I had used uh, Call Me Clover, but then I would have had one of each of the colors in the background there, but aren't those pretty? I think they're gorgeous. There you go, came together beautifully. Phew! <laughs> it's always nice when that happens. So Kathy, thank you so much for the wonderful color combo. Um, I enjoyed using this. I hope you enjoyed seeing how these came together. Um, beautiful, beautiful colors. Not scary at all. I will, of course, have all the products that I use to make these cards on my blog later on today and um, the video link. If you missed any of the, the this video, you can always check that out. And um, 
darn, I forgot to put my feature of the week on here. But it is that to a wild rose stamp set and die set, so the bundle. And of course you get this, I'm gonna send you this beautiful, very vanilla scalloped lace as a thank you. Plus you get it at the bundle price, which is 10% off. See, so here's our card from, my card from Tuesday. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just a beautiful set. And it can be for like all sorts of um, sentiments, right? Like birthday anniversary, it could be for anything. Um, like I said, just friendship, blessed to know you, thank you. Sympathy, all sorts of things it could be for. So uh, it's one of those versatile sets that uh, works great with everything. So if that interests you, uh, make sure you hop on over to my online store, which is jenhouston.stampinup.net. And of course, if you use that, um, you what? Love how you wore earrings to go with your show, right? My mom got those for me in Hawaii. I very rarely wear them and I there again I'm digging out all the jewelry that's kind of been hidden in a box and let's let's give it a go again <laughs> so yeah flowers yep yeah, yep yeah. uh forget where I was anyways um if you need any if you have any questions I'm going to go back through this and answer anything that uh, may be a question because sometimes I miss because I'm working away so hard I, I miss some of your comments and I don't like that um, so I, I make sure that I go through and read them all and if you have any questions you can always contact me my email now is jenhoustonstamps at gmail.com that'll make it a, a little easier and Jen has two N's and Houston's like the city h-o-u-s-t-o-n I know why who knew there were so many saying so many ways to spell Houston I thought when I first met Kevin and found out his last name was Houston and whatnot I'm like oh finally a name that someone's gonna be able to spell <laughs> there are so many versions of it nope <laughs> so anyways but you know when when people read it they generally know how to say it so that that's a plus metric was a little bit uh, a little bit harder that my maiden name but anyways all right everybody thanks for making my morning thanks for hanging in there with me um i hope you love these cards and i will see you tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m when we're gonna do something a little bit messy again i like messy i like i like things a little bit outside the box right of course, if you haven't noticed that about me. But uh, so, you know, if you're going to play along with me, you're going to need re-inkers, baby wipes. And that's it for now. All right. Have a great day, everybody. See you tomorrow.